what is going on guys my name is adam and i'm back here with another video in today's video what we're going to be doing is just covering how to rotoscope without using after effects because i know sometimes um, after effects can be a complicated software to use all we're going to do is just go ahead and use a online video editor called runway and that way you can rotoscope your footage just in case you don't want to use after effects and it's super simple to use and you can do it with just a few clicks if you don't know who i am my name is adam i run a platform called akv studios where i help editors filmmakers and videographers like yourself pretty much enhance their video editing and offer unique presets and assets to help speed up editing time and streamline your workflow so you can finish videos faster but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video but if you're new here welcome to the culture and drop a new videos every week go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications if you want to be updated every time I drop a video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button before we get started it really helps out the channel a lot and also helps out with the YouTube algorithm and also follow me on Instagram to be updated updated when I drop a new product pack and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so what you'll do first you're just gonna want to navigate search bar and just type in runawayml.com they will be brought to this screen right here so this is just the online AI video editing software that you can use in your browser so first things first if you haven't made an account try runway for free then it will prompt you to make an account and then if you've already made an account like myself you'll just be logged in and this is pretty much what the runaway dashboard looks like and what you'll do is you just come to your project tabs and then you'll go ahead and just create a project if you're just using the free version and you want to just rotoscope um, as many clips as possible it does say you have only three projects um, available with the free plan and then you'll have to upgrade to pro but that's not really a big deal because you can just keep using the same project over and over like i do and then just keep replacing your clips what i have here is just um, a previous rotoscope that i did so what i'll go ahead and do is just delete these but i'll go ahead and show you how to do everything from here so where we start is first thing we want to do is just go ahead and drag our footage into to the video editing software into our timeline so what i have here is i have two clips from um, a lyrical lemonade music video where i have a little uzi and we'll just go ahead and just drag the first one in and what rotoscoping is is just pretty much removing the background from your video clip or you can actually have your subject separate from the background and you can do tons of edits um, with a rotoscope so right now i just imported my footage and right now as you can see it's just uploading and it's just going to take a few seconds to finish uploading all right awesome so now that it's done i'll go ahead and show you what we're working with so we just have uzi he's doing his dance and what's behind him is just pretty much he's on a moon. So what I'm going to be doing is just going ahead and removing him from the background. From here, all you want to do is just navigate to the right side of your screen where you see AI magic tools and you're just going to click green screen. And then from there, it's just going to take us to a new video editing window and pretty much everything looks the same. You can still um, view everything by frames. And then if you just look over here to the right again, it just says click on the area to start masking. And that's pretty much where you start your rotoscope from. So. You always want to start at the beginning of the clip and then all you have to do is just click on your subject and then the AI is going to do its best to track your subject and then all you have to do is just pretty much keep clicking until you get all of your subject in um, the green. So just keep clicking until you get your subject filled. You just move frame by frame just to make sure it looks correct. I'm just going to press this preview button to see how well it masked in little Uzi. So as you can see, it did a pretty solid job. This is a little bit extra we need to put in right here. And just say I didn't want to get like little Uzi's hands or something like that. I'll go ahead and click on um, exclude. And then it'll do its job of getting rid of his hand. So anything you don't want included in the rotoscope, make sure you just click on this exclude tab and then you go ahead and just click where you don't want it and then it will show up red. If you make an error, just press control Z and then it undoes it. That looks awesome. I'm going to go ahead and preview it one more time. So that actually looks really good. So what you'll do now is once you think everything is good, you got your subject covered in green, think everything's good to go, you're ready to export. All you do now is you'll just go to export and then what it does, it pretty much just chooses the green screen. Just say your subject is wearing a lot of green. You can choose a blue, pink, uh, orange, yellow, or choose your own color. And if you're using the free version, they actually only let you choose uh, 720p but just because it's a rotoscope and you still are going to have your background clip um, it's not going to matter too much so once you're done all you do is just press export mask and then it'll pretty much take you to the assets tab so to get to the assets you just click on view it in the assets page it'll be done once you have finished exporting and pretty much your export stats are right here so once your video has finished exporting you'll be able to download it 
and um, right now mine's at 4%. But I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward until this is done exporting. All right, so once it's done exporting, you'll see recently exported right here, but then you just wanna come down to your tab right here, and then you just wanna come over here to these three dots, and then press download, and then find a safe place where you wanna download them. Then you just wanna go ahead and open up your editing software, and then you want to pull in your background clip or the original clip, and then you wanna pull in your new green screen clip. And then you'll see that you have your original clip and then you have your green screen clip. Right now, this footage is in 4K and then obviously my rotoscope or green screen clip is in 720p. So what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and um, right click or scale to frame size. If you're in a different video editing software, find the scale tab and obviously, you know, scale it up till it fits your screen, right? And then you can kind of see where it's just clipping a little bit. Just to avoid that, I just go ahead and raise my clip about 10 more frames. I scale it up about 10 more frames and then you won't even notice it. So if you do that, you also have to scale up your background clip as well. So that looks great. So let's go ahead and check it out from there. Looks super clean like that. And then next up, what you wanna do is just go ahead and navigate to your native editor's um, keyer um, effect. And Adobe Premiere Pro is called Ultra Key. So all you do is just go ahead and drag that onto your footage. And then you take this eyedropper tool and then you just click on the green and then it's pretty much done. Sometimes you can see like a little bit of a uh, green in the background. Just go to your settings and you can either, um, you know, do the cleanup yourself or you can just go ahead and choose aggressive and it pretty much gets rid of it. Let's go ahead and play that back. So it looks super clean. It doesn't look like anything is there, but if we um, hide this, you can see that, you know, Uzi's dancing and it looks pretty clean like that. So pretty much that's how you do it after you import into your video editing software. What you'll want to do next is just go ahead and have fun with it and add your effects. So for this, I'll kind of just show you what you can do. So right now what I have pulled up is just my newest pack, the liquid explosion pack. And I'll go ahead and just grab a quick explosion. Let's go ahead and use a glow loop and I'll just go ahead and use blue. Just change the blend mode and then also scale it up to frame size. And you can see the awesome stuff that you can do with rotoscoping. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you wanna see more rotoscope tutorials or video effect tutorials, go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me specifically what you wanna see and I'll go ahead and get those done for you. But if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I'm dropping new videos every week. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And also if you wanna check out the liquid explosion pack that I featured in this video, or if you wanna check out my other presets that I have available, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Check out all the preset and editing packs that I have. And if you're just starting out, don't want to spend any money, not a problem. I actually have a free resource pack that you can get in the link in the description below as well. But that's it for me, guys. Take care.